perfect in attendance. This is your sixth night for the Simbang Gabi. I would like to know your attendance. Kaway-kaway sa mga naka-perfect for the sixth day of this Simbang Gabi. Ayan. Marami-rami. Ang uban, maulaw, ming anak rao. Masya. Nahiya sila. It is good to know that some of us or mostly in attendance have perfected the sixth day of the Simbang Gabi. And with that, I congratulate you and I thank you for the gift of presence you have given to make this church alive. That is a wonderful, indeed, a good news for all of us. Even if other people would say they are nominal Catholics. Some people would say they are seasonal Catholics. It's not about the season, not about the time of your attendance. It is always the good news that we want to hear and the good news that would hopefully transform each and every one of us. We heard from the gospel text beautifully described to us the Annunciation in the Mysteries of the Holy Rosary if you pray the Holy Rosary. We heard that an angel, a messenger of God from the Greek word angelos announced a good news to a virgin lady named Mary, betrothed to a just man named Joseph. The good news brought by the angel to this beautiful lady named Mary when she heard the greeting saying, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. In other translations, it says, The Lord has found favor on you. As if telling us the Lord favored you already. And so, you are full of grace. Because you are full of grace, this good news to be given and to be announced to you must be welcomed with joy. But what happened to Mary at that time? She was afraid. And telling the angel Gabriel, how can this happen to me since I have no relation to a man? In other translations, it says, how could this be since I have known no man? That being in no relation to a man, even if at that time she was betrothed to Joseph, Mary was in wonder. Shock. Paon sa mani mahitabu? Dalaga man ko. Wala pa man ko ibana. But the angel said, Behold, because it is the Holy Spirit who will help. Here, we see another good news for us. If Mary was greeted by the angel on the first good news that she will conceive, the second one is that here comes the advocate, 
the Holy Spirit who will now be the agent of this life. The agent that would transform the faith of this young woman whom the good news is announced. With that, we can also ask, at this very day, at this very moment, at this very night, what is or what are the good news you have received? Unsa may mga maayong balita nga inyo nang nadawat, maliban sa inyong mga bonus. Some of us are very happy because of the good news that our loved one or loved ones is coming back to celebrate Christmas. Some of our long lost friends are coming back to church and so we are happy and that is a good news. Some of these people attending the church called as the nominal or the seasonal Catholics are coming to church and it is indeed a good news for all of us. More than that, more than all these things that we think of, the good news is that here comes a beautiful, wonderful announcement of the angel told to a lady that she will conceive. She will bear the Son of God. A beautiful news. A wonderful circumstance at that moment that will transform not only the life of that young lady, the life of that just man named Joseph, but will also transform each and every one of us. That will transform me and will transform you to listen all the more to God's words, to listen all the more to the longings of the people around us. Labinakat tung mga kabus nga nanginahanglan atong paminawon, just as Mary listened. Obeyed and said yes. On the third and last point, the good news that we can learn from today's text is that Mary's fiat, the F I A T, fiat, the total yes of Mary, the total obedience to truly accept the will of God for her life, to truly embrace what has been told to her. Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me. All the good news that you received in your life, be it a good news of having more bonuses, more material gifts, your family, friends, or family members coming home, joining all of you for a wonderful Christmas celebration, having a complete family, those are all good news. But there is more on the third point. The good news of total yes to the will of God. And so we ask again, am I willing to say yes to God's will every day of my life? As a young priest in the diocese, idealistic per se, 
but we continue to journey in this beautiful call of the Lord to respond with faithfulness. To respond to this beautiful gift of a priestly ministry to truly and sincerely say every day, Yes, Lord, your will be done. Same as you live your life, being in your family, whatever is the nature of your work, wherever you are, those who are in our virtual masses, all of you experience different good news. And this good news would hopefully encourage you all the more to persevere in life and all the more maningkamot kitang tanan kay kitang tanan gigasahan o gigrasyahan sa Dios. Ug sa atong pagpaabot sa manunubos nga magpakatawo na diha sa pagbag ni Maria sa iyang pagkamasilog tanon sa kabubuton sa Dios kitang tanan ako Kamo, kita, nakaambit sa dakong kalipay nga gikan sa Dios O kining dakong kalipay, magdala ka nato ngadto sa kahimayaan. Magdala ka natong tanan ngadto sa kabalaan. Kahimayaan o kabalaan. Kini, mga good news nga matawag nato Ang good news, aron ako, Ikaw, kitang tanan, magkinabuhi nga santos. Hinaot pa, nga sa kanunay, uban sa atong paglaum, uban sa dakong pagtuo, mangayo tagdugang grasa, ug kaisog, gikan sa Espiritu Santo, aron magmaisugon kita sa pagtubag, sa tawag sa ginoo. Ug adlaw-adlaw sa atong kinabuhi, makaingon kita, Yes, Lord, I come to do your will. Yes, Lord, I am ready to face the challenges of my life. And yes, Lord, it is because you will be with me every day of my life.